And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. Spider, spider, spider man. Spider man, spider man. Oh, alien tell me we're in the back. Before we fill the documents, we spoke to you, Lord. We are speaking to you now, so go before us, Lord. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ele. If you're new on here, welcome, welcome. I'm excited to have you. And if you are an OD, a Goldie, welcome back. Thank you all so much for always supporting. Please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop any of my videos, you will be notified on that. I'll be talking about the second part of my spousal visa journey. As I mentioned in my previous video before this one, I talked about the USCIS stage and um, everything that went on with filing for my spousal visa. If you haven't seen that video, the link is going to be up here. So just click it and you can watch that. And on February 2nd, 2023, the National Visa Center sent me an email letting me know, welcome to the NBC. We're going to be doing all of this thing. So just follow the instructions. Immediately, I got that email. I went ahead and I paid the fees. There are two fees to pay. One of it is your DS-260, that is the visa application form. And then the second one was the affidavit of support. So those were the two fees that um, I had to pay for. So I paid for those on February 2nd. I paid for it immediately. And then once they confirm payment, which takes about two days, then they open up the forms for you to fill out the DS-260 visa form. Hi guys, good morning. Um, what did I do to I don't know why this dogs are barking, but um, I'm about to be on my way from Ibadan to Lagos. I'm going to get my police report for the next phase of my spell visa. Hi now. It took roughly about like three or four hours success i submitted at the nvc on february 20th 2023 for whatever reason the nvc was moving rather quickly in this phase like typically the nvc would take like three four five six months and it was very possible for your documents to be rejected like oh it's not clear or the name is not correct or just something they're super meticulous so March 7th, 2023, the NVC reached out to me again via email, letting me know that my documents were good, complete, and I could move on to the next stage. So I was DQ'd, that's what that's the term, DQ'd, documentarily qualified on March 7th, 2023, and woo! I was happy. If, if you're on this journey, then you definitely understand just getting those emails, especially after waiting 406 days to get some form of approval or information on this journey from the USCIS stage. So this was such a blessing. March 7th, 2023, the second phase was completely done and I was being moved to the third stage, the third and final stage. The third stage is the embassy stage, the interview stage where your country of residence would send an email to you letting you know like, hey, we have an interview for you, get your document ready and come interview with a counselor and let's see if your marriage is legitimate you've passed the first stage you've passed the second stage now this is a third stage we want to talk face to face to with you to see if this is real and we can grant you entry into the United States <sighs> so at this time um, I was working in Abidjan 
and what I did was it didn't make sense for me to keep flying back and forth I went ahead and I transferred my case I found out it was possible so I transferred my case from the Lagos Embassy to Abidjan Ivory Coast I was able to do that transfer and I think the transfer took about you know just a few days and the Abidjan Embassy sent me an email letting me know that we have successfully accepted your um, case and this is your new case number once uh, an immigrant interview spot comes up and open for you we will let you know about a week later I'll leave the date on the screen I got that email and my heart was just so glad I was super busy in that time and if we know anything about being busy is that time tends to fly so the time was going and I was I was I was just happy that I could see the light at the end of the tunnel now, when did I get my interview? March, April, May, June, July, <laughs> August. Hi, oh Jesus. Oh, the struggle. Ah, the sofa is real. I was waiting for the interview. Granted, I was working and I was still waiting regardless. And then one fateful morning, August 14th, 2023, I woke up and at about 7 a.m. I got an email saying, hello, Miss LA. <laughs> you now have an interview date for I think it was like two months after they let me know like in, in the next two months we, we will be granting you an immigrant visa interview so make sure you have this document ready and come to your interview at this time Woo! I was so ooh, like the words I do not have excitement it was just so much excitement and i was happy my husband was happy it was just a thing of joy for us three weeks before my u.s interview i had to get my u.s medicals done the u.s medicals is really just to assess your health status before coming into the u.s they want to make sure they have everything documented and they have a list of immunizations vaccines and x-rays that you have to do by an approved doctor or clinic or hospital from the United States list. So every country has um, an approved list of physicians and hospitals that you can go to. So I went to the one that was approved for in Abidjan and I got my medicals done. Hi everyone, good morning. It's super, super early. It's like 6.30ish. And um, I'm currently in Abidjan. I've had a little bit of a cold, so I sound a little bit nasally. But yeah, I'm um, just trying to stay warm today. Um, but yeah, come on this journey with me for the medical interview. I do have vaccinations um, from before, so I hope that they accept what I bring. I'm just so glad that this process is really about to be over. It has been about 20, it's about 21 months now and it will wrap up in next month which is the 22nd month so i'm really excited and i look forward to this process being over it has been a very trying period and for anybody who's going through the process or will go through the process prepare yourselves at least until something changes it is a long road very long road but all right we are going to the medical center here in abidjan So I just got done with my vaccination here in Abidjan and it's literally just in like a little kiosk type thing. Um, this is the only one they have, so I was rather shocked. <laughs> but yeah, um, right there. They give you four vaccines at a go, depending on your immunization records before i got my medicals done i pulled out all my medical records my immunization records you know the one your mom keeps under the bed <laughs> so i got obviously i got all of these things i had them with me and then because i did go to school in the u.s prior i had like a bunch of you know vaccinations and immunizations already done so i i was super excited about that i packed all of those um, documents and i took them with me to my medicals 
and then after when i got to my medical i didn't have to do as much i didn't have to take as many immunizations or vaccinations anymore because i had most of them but there were still some that i had to take and then i took those i also had the chest x-ray done and then once that process was complete they did not give me anything to take to the embassy. They just told me that my results will be sent to the embassy and on interview day, just go and everything I need uh, medical wise is already taken care of. So that was perfect. After my medical, um, I had a little vacation with my husband. We went to Lisbon, Portugal, and we went to Paris. And in that time, I made sure to take enough pictures. I took so many pictures of us, with our friends, with just everything that we were doing, every single activity. I took a lot of pictures. One thing that the US Embassy wants to see during your spousal visa interview is that you have solid proof of relationship solid proof of marriage pictures i kept all our airline tickets boarding passes and all of those things those are evidence to prove that you are in a legitimate marriage so i made sure that i had all of those and i was gathering them through the years and even so much more in paris and lisbon because that was our last trip before the interview so the next step was really me just preparing for my interview i had to print out <laughs> i had to print out text messages whatsapp messages instagram dm messages twitter dms emails every single thing for proof of relationship i'm currently getting ready for my us visa interview and one of the requirements is to print out as many photos as possible for proof of ongoing relationship so this is tommy one i when we started when we first started dating this was our mini introduction <laughs> This is us in Lisbon, in Paris, Lagos. More pictures when we started dating, picture when we first met with our godmother at our traditional wedding, court wedding, proposal, alien to me in Dubai, Lagos, and other pictures. So this is the process. Um, I'm still printing out more pictures. They want proof of relationship. I'm gonna give them proof of relationship. <laughs> it doesn't matter for the, just take as much information as possible because one thing that um, I did hear is that there are a lot of marriage scams and you don't want to appear as one of them with very little evidence. So you have to take so much, just, you know, as much as you have, obviously, so that, you know, there's no red flag when your application comes up, right? Instagram pictures, like actual screenshots from my Instagram page. <laughs> I made sure to get everything, the comments, the likes. So thank you all so much for always liking our pictures and all of that. It was all part of, you know, the process. Um, so yes. Hey y'all, so my interview, my US visit interview is tomorrow. This is my folder with all the information I believe they would need. So I'm literally just preparing um it's a lot of things just preparing for an interview tomorrow i don't even know how i feel but i'm grateful to god that this phase of life is about to be over hey y'all so today is the morning of my u.s sponsor visit interview um, I have my makeup done. I'm going to take a passport before I head out to the embassy. Um, I want my passport looking good. So got my makeup done. And have y'all realized how when we have to take passports, it seems like we're typically looking off that day. <laughs> that was what happened in my previous one. So I said, you know what? Nah, today I'm going to get my makeup done get my passport taken and head to my visa interview so i just got done from getting my passport taken unfortunately um it had lines on it so yeah but i'm literally just getting ready 
for my interview. I'm already ready physically. Um, interviews in a couple of hours, so I'm going over my documents right here. So I've labeled each page. So whenever they ask for anything, I have it here with me already. Um, It's amazing that this process is literally about to be over. You know how you've waited for something for so long? And like, it's finally happening. Maybe when I when I get my passport and my visa, it will hit. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go over some questions with Tamiwa. And then we're gonna have breakfast. We're gonna head to the embassy. <laughs> oh my days! So like, I'm literally just remembering my very first US um, interview. Uh, I was 16 and I was getting ready for an F1 interview to go to school. And my dad made me wear <laughs> dress, dress, dress like, I don't even know, wear suits. <laughs> Crazy, so I'm 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 repeating it. my nose send me wear then tattoo my body after that i go lock my hair take advice from nobody make friends with bad guys bye bye to decency <laughs> god will make a way where there seems to be no way he works in ways we cannot see he will make a way for us. He will be our guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way. He will make a way. God will make a way. God will make a way. Where well, there seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for us He will be our guide Hold us closely to His side With love and strength for each new day He will make a way he will make a way. Lord, you just thank you for today. Holy Spirit, we just bless your holy name. We worship you. We thank you for your presence. Jesus, we thank you for being the root to the Father. We thank you for being the Father. Lord, we just thank you so much for this moment. We thank you for every single moment that led to this specific moment. Thank you for the days that I first laid my eyes on my wife. Thank you for the day that we first had our proper conversations. Thank you for our weddings. We thank you for USCIS. We thank you for the MVC. Thank you for the United States Embassy in Lagos. Thank you for the United States Embassy in Abuja. Abidjan rather. Lord, we just commit this whole process into your hands for only favorable eyes and favorable decisions, favorable conversations, favorable questions, favorable interviews. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. As the Lord enters, re enters the United States of America, Lord, we pray that you restore all the things that may have been paused, that may have been delayed, that may have stopped. You restore them. I pray in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Going to get my visa. <laughs> We're going to America. <laughs> this was 
I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Is this the outfit check? Are we good? Hey, um, off a check to the airport. Uh, to the airport. Well, I'm already trying to leave. <laughs> off a check. Off a check to the U.S. Embassy today. Hey y'all, so I just got done with my visa interview and it was a <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited. You are looking at the latest approved visa applicant. <laughs> Waiting for almost five years. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>